This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Kristen Spilly. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A SWAT situation in Miami Township has ended. Around 4.30 this morning, officers were called to a home on Wing Avenue to reports of shots fired. By 7.30, SWAT was called to the scene, but around 11, police confirmed they arrested their suspect after he surrendered and exited the building. We are still working to learn more about what happened and we'll bring that to you here on air and online. Allegations of hazing have put Western Hills and Dater's football program on pause. Their home game tonight against Goshen has been canceled as the school investigates a video which shows a boy being held down and struggling while another group of boys take off his clothes. The team's head coach has also been relieved of his duties. It's a big break for local and other Ohio business owners. Bottom line, Governor Mike DeWine says the state has begun repayment of its nearly $1.5 billion federal unemployment loan. Paying it off will prevent future tax increases for Ohio employers that would have been needed to pay off the loan. Drive sober or get pulled over. That's the message from the Ohio State Highway Patrol as we head into what will be a long holiday weekend for some of us. State troopers are cracking down on drunk drivers. According to the State Patrol, it's 15 people. 15 people died over cra in crashes over Labor Day weekend last year. During that extra enforcement period, troopers arrested more than 500 people for driving while impaired. Raven. All right, so here's a look at your Labor Day weekend forecast. Got some 80s for your Friday. When we are looking at rain for Saturday, will happen for the afternoon, then becoming isolated. So I wouldn't worry about changing any plans. Now, Sunday, most of that rain is in the morning. So after that is fine. Fireworks are good to go. And then your Monday, looking at a high of 82. And guess what? The good weather continues heading into next week. Our highs will only be into those low 80s for us, looking at plenty of sunshine up ahead. That's a look at your weekend forecast. Have a good and safe one.